What is up y'all? It's your boy Brandon Janowski and we are back at it again with another video with the Anka Nebula 3 right on the horizon. I thought it was a good chance for us to take a look at the Anka Nebula 2. This one is going on a good sale right now. Right now you can get it for $399.99. $400 while the Anchor Nebula 3 is pushing close to $800. So I think we should go over this one and see if this is the perfect portable projector for you. That way you can save a buck and still get great quality. Let's dive right in. So first thing I want to talk about is what comes inside the box. We briefly went over this in a short I did so this isn't packaged the best. You get the Anchor Nebula 2. You get a pretty sweet remote in my opinion charger for the nebula of course and you get a nice set of batteries for the remote it is not rechargeable you will need some batteries this uses AAA batteries pretty easy to get not a big deal but I wish at the $400 price tag 589 originally you would get a rechargeable controller but you don't so what are you gonna do this thing has been really I want to say amazing, but honestly, it's been pretty short of amazing. I, ha I have had some hiccups with this projector. My cats are fighting right now. Gaditos, please stop. <laughs> so what I want to talk about is some of the pros, some of the cons, and some of the things that I think Anchor needs to fix, either in a software update or just reach out to customers who have this because I've seen that there is a widespread issue with keystone correction. So when you first use this and set up your Anchor Nebula projector, your capsule tool, when you set it up, it has automatic keystone correction where it just will focus in and it'll set up for your display, which I think is awesome. But there is one caveat. When you set it up, for some reason, the keystone seems to little, lean a little bit to the side, so it's not perfectly horizontal. You can go into settings and manually do the keystone, but here's the flaw. You can only manual adjust the vertical keystone, so that's not gonna fix this horizontal keystone issue, which in my opinion is a big issue when you're coming talking about a $400, $589 projector. That is a big issue in my um, experience. And I've seen online on Amazon and even on uh, Anchor's Nebula's own website that this is a big issue and it has yet to be corrected even after over a year of this thing being out. Another shortcoming is that this device is not Netflix certified. So from Nebula's website, you need to sell at least a million units for Netflix to certify your device. I would have assumed that they've reached that milestone, but I guess they haven't. So when you get this, they do have a workaround for you to get Netflix, but it is not natively supported. And you can only access Netflix by using the Nebula app on your phone. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna download my files onto this thing. You're gonna access a Andro uh, Netflix Android APK that's already pre-installed for you to install Netflix. But from then, you will only be able to access this app by using your phone, using the app. You cannot use the remote control and the projector together to access Netflix, even though this is an Android projector and Android is built right in. You can access Hulu, Disney Plus, and all these other great apps, but Netflix is not one of them, which is somewhat of a downfall, but I can't, can't put that on them too much because like I said, they have put a workaround, they have put it in right in the device, and they even give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to set that up which is a decent workaround and it's honestly not the biggest shortcoming. So let's talk a little bit about the ports that you get on this device. It's gonna have a 3.5 millimeter jack, which is great for if you're connecting an external speaker. It's gonna have an HDMI port, a USB-A port, as well as a Type-C port for charging. So that means this thing has a decent, a really good amount of I.O. for a portable projector in my opinion, especially at the size of a soda can and now we're going to talk about the most important part, right? The reason you're probably here. What does the 720p image look like? So at 200 ANSI lumens or ANSI lumens, not 100% sure how to pronounce that, this thing may not get the brightest, but in my experience, it does get bright enough for the price and the use cases that I've been using it for. So in daylight, as you can see, you do get a decent uh, picture of reproduction. It does, it is fairly usable. You can definitely get some use out of this in a decently lit environment. And something that's very bright, forget about it. This thing is gonna fail horribly 
which kind of sucks if you're like a rooftop person and you want to use this in the rooftop during the daytime, you're definitely gonna have to set up a tent or something to be able to use this outside in the middle of the day. That being said, at nighttime, this thing is a powerhouse. If you're throwing a small rooftop party, a big party, whatever, you throw this thing out there, you're gonna get two and a half hours of battery life and it's gonna look amazing, especially in the dark environment, which in my case was my main use case. I like to use this thing on my roof at night, sit down, you know, have a little small get together with my friends and still be able to put on some content. And even though I said it does come with a 3.5 millimeter jack, you will probably not even use that because the eight watt speakers built into this thing are pretty amazing. I was actually really surprised at how loud this thing could get for the size and the fact that it is a projector and a speaker. So that was pretty, that was pretty great. I'm not gonna front, that was awesome. I love that. It even has a speaker mode with the top button above the power button. You can put this into Bluetooth speaker mode. So you're not only getting a portable projector for your money, you're also getting a really decent a portable speaker, which is awesome. So you can use it as a portable speaker. You're gonna get way more than the two and a half hours battery life in my testing, which is great. If you're just using it as a speaker, it's a great speaker. Definitely overpriced at $400 for a speaker, but if you take in the fact that, like I said, portable projector and a speaker, and this is the main thing you can carry because it does run Android, this thing really is a powerhouse in your book bag. It is going to be awesome. You're gonna be able to watch content straight off the device you can it even has four gigabytes of memory so you can maybe store a few videos directly on the device however i would definitely say you you will need a wi-fi connection or a hotspot connection from your phone or if you have an hdmi compatible device just plug that thing in and hook it up and you're good to go this thing is my favorite honestly i've loved it mainly because of the like i said soda can size like for reference this is a Galaxy S22 Ultra, and as you can see, my Galaxy S22 Ultra is actually taller than the Anchor Nebula speaker. So that can just give you some idea about how small and compact this thing really is. It is really a small little buddy in your bag, and I love that for this device. My main reason to get this was because it was a portable projector. If you're looking for the best of the best, I definitely suggest looking into Anchor's more premium lineup. They still uh, sell them as portable projectors. However, they do need to be plugged in. So in my opinion, that is not portable. I wanted a battery powered projector and that is exactly what you get with the Anchor, Anchor Nebula Capsule 2. You get a small battery powered 200 ANSI Lumen 720p projector with an amazing speaker so you can definitely watch anything on the go. Like I said, this is definitely gonna be your nighttime go-to or your indoor go-to in specific lighting environments. So feel free to check out the links below if you wanna see uh, this thing on Amazon, look at some other reviews, but in my opinion, this is definitely one of the best portable projectors you're gonna find on the market with a battery built in at this size. But of course, if there's something better, we all want the best of the best for ourselves. Depending on your use case, depending on your financial situation, of course that matters. But if you can afford it, $400 for this is definitely worth it if you're in the market for a portable projector. Thank you again for watching, guys. I've been your boy, Brandon Janowski. Peace out.